Decorations. Depends anywhere from one to five. Oh, okay. Take all of it for thirty bucks. Box. Have to see <laughs> what? Everything in the boxes. All this? All of it. And that? In that for thirty bucks. And what this too? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. At a swap meet that is filled with tractors cast iron, metal parts, tools, hit and miss engines. I didn't expect to come across about three to four boxes and a stack of vintage Christmas and holiday decorations, but I did, all for $30. Join me today as we do some vintage Christmas unboxing and see what goodies I purchased because I have no clue what's in the boxes. So I didn't really look in the boxes. <laughs> After the guy said $30, I was like, all right. I knew that in the paper decorations, it's worth it alone. So let's go through these together. We have this cute girl, tree topper. She does have a little issue here, but that could probably be fixed. We have some vintage icicles from Sears, 49 cents, wow. I did see these angels. They are, oh, they're like a rubber. They're fun. I'm assuming perhaps you could put lights in them too. They're cute. Uh, this guy is not vintage, but he was in there. We have a CVS 1993 Santa. Oh, I see a, a spun cotton head. This little lady marked Japan. Japan. She's a little trumpeting nun. Is that a French horn? Don't believe it's a trumpet. We have, oops, we have some Santas. His head is like so tiny for his body. These are the classic. You see these all the time. A Panda, panda bear Santa. And then this one too. He's cute. I mean, these are, these are great in and of themselves. Who are these? Oh my gosh. I love him. He's like, um, I don't want to say a shepherd with the hook, but he reminds me of the kind of guy or he's just like going on a, a, a hunt. He is great. Or a shepherd. <laughs> Vintage ornament. Hang it like that. Then there's there were a lot of these. Someone will want these. I know it. These are a little bit too kitsch. Plastic kitsch for me. So I will not be keeping these. But I'm sure someone can use them in their holiday decor. This wooden guy. I think I see a... a cow made in China. Not sure how he fits into the Christmas theme, but he is there. These poor, oh, he's so nice. Oh, he's so sad. 1929? Oh, look at his poor legs. He'll have to stay with me. There were a bunch of, oh, a horse. Oh, this is really nice. What is that made out of? It's interesting because he has the, the holes like something would go through. He's rather nice too. Man, $30. This is worth it. Oh, there's another cow. <laughs> so yes, there were a lot of, I think the one box had a bunch of these. Uh, this always happens, whether it's a celluloid or the plastic, the antlers always have damage. Another one made in USA. It's cracking, which is odd. It's like a rubber. 
material that is hardened. What's this? A horse? A horse is a horse, of course. A little nativity. But Jesus, Jesus has is gone. He's grown up and out of the manger. These are vintage lights. Um, oftentimes you'll see a whole string of them and some of them can be very collectible but there are others that look like they're styrofoam and then this sparkly covering on top and those are really collectible this is just a, an odd oh there's more i was gonna say there's an oddball but i lied we have some fencing or the bottom of a rocking horse <laughs> whatever you want it to be there's a lighthouse in here oh there's more of these oh there's another little Christmas. Some of them are shiny bright. Hong Kong. I found a bunch of these in the at the my garbage bag house. These are so fun. These are really cool. I love the the, the rustic look to them. A little sheep. Oh, oh no my gosh, no, it's not a sheep. It's um an American short hair cow heifer bull I'm not a cow this guy I'm guessing there's probably more of them but we only have one he's like um a flocked he's cute there were a whole bunch of the plastic homes which I think are in another box and these were um, we're on a strand of lights I have seen these before Wow, he's tall legs. Tall legs. We have a little. Ooh, he's so fun. <laughs> Jazz hands. Um, another ornament. Look at this darling. Oh my goodness. All right, we'll let we'll let her have her spotlight for a little. There's more of these. They're so funny. It's another cow. And then we have some fencing. Lamax, made in China. Look how darling this little girl is. This is spun cotton here, but her head is like a plastic with the pipe cleaner arms. She's adorable. All right, well, that was fun for that box. Didn't even know those animals were in there, but those are fun find. What's this guy? A pig, oh my gosh, he is so cute. They're really fun. All right, the next box, the guy graciously threw this rabbit in. He wasn't, he was near the Christmas stuff, but I really like him. Definitely vintage. Great look. We have a nice church, light up church. Again, some wear. Oh, what is this? Oh, wow, this is so cute. Don't mind the truck going by. Oh! Look how cute. So this is made in Japan. I'd like a house like that. And then we have more fencing. This is plastic. And then more of the homes, plastic homes. I forgot there is one more box after this box, which I have to go grab. I loved this guy, even though he does have damage. This is the celluloid material. I've I haven't seen one this large. Um, you know, he's he's pretty tall, and he's marked um, "Made in Occupied Japan," so that gives an indication to his age. I really like him though. He'll stay in my collection too. Especially because it was one one damaged antler. So we have a whole bunch of angels with lights for hands. We have this girl, which I've seen so often, it seems. Those are fun. This looks like it is the base to an Avon snowman. And how I know that is because my mom had one. Um, what happens is it's a snowman that sits on top and there's actually his broom and you move that and it changes the lights it, it could be for that it couldn't but it looks very familiar 
another base. Hmm. Dear. And then what's in this bag? I do not know. <gasps> oh, how neat. Those are so cool. I've never seen one like that. I love it. This is a great buy for $30. Oh, yes. We got it. We found your other antler, bud. Oh, fun. I wonder if there's another candle. There isn't. Just more of the foil decor. I'm assuming it's vintage. It's like a whole big ribbon. Yep. Made in Japan. Oh my goodness, how lovely. We aren't going to open those up and I'll have to refold the other ones. And I have one more box. Let me go grab it. All right, so here's the other box. These were marked five cents. I'll get some yard sale. Oh, definitely, definitely worth five cents. Perhaps a little bit more. Those are fun. Here's another one. You know, they do have their fading from time, but they're still great pieces of vintage Christmas. Then we have all of these, which again, this was a plethora of deer. These cute bunnies. I believe that they should be vintage. I don't want to call them candy containers because I don't know if the heads actually come off, but I do like them. This guy, very funky color. Um, it's a national, I can't read that, but made in Japan. Well, Napeco wear there, but that's very fun greens and, and teals. Oh, look at this tree. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was the base in the other one. I love this. This is, <laughs> this is like a Whoville tree. Whoop. That's adorable. That will stay in my collection. We have the Japan Winky Santa. I don't know if they came with the candles in them. I've been finding a lot lately with the melted candle inside. What's this guy? Is this a Clipper Santa? Yep. I've seen these before. These are also classic. Oh, oof. His poor beard. We have some more deer. Well, again, this whole thing is filled with deer. I think this goes to the church. Whoops. I'm gonna put that aside. Look at that cord. We have some angel, an angel. She goes to the nativity. Oh my gosh, he is amazing. So this isn't rubber, this is porcelain and he is heavy oh poor guy had some neck surgery but he is really great i haven't seen one like him before oh you don't want me to sing sorry i did that <laughs> so yes all these oh i have come across so many of these little guys little rudolph they're so cute i've seen this star before as well great vintage christmas item we have all these, oh, he's poor. His, his antlers are still, he's still intact. But many of them don't, but it's fun to have this many in one, in one spot. Even if they've had some antler issues. So remember, all of this plus the paper, decorations which I'll show you this is a bell looks like it was never used there's some more little bells at the bottom it looks like yep all hanging bells what's this guy it's a snowman oh my gosh he is adorable look how cute he is with his little face oh and we have a cactus because you know let's throw that in there that's actually fun <laughs> oh, we have some trees. Not bottle brush, but they're pretty good. Yeah, so all these all these deer. You know, Santa really got has the hook up this year with all these deer, I think. I hope you enjoyed that. I think for $30, I did really, really well. If you missed the video where I found all these items, be sure to check out the prior video. I'll put a link in the description below. Yeah, $30 just 
Yes, all day. I'll do that any day of the week. <laughs> some great reindeer, which a few I'll add to my collection, some great vintage paper decorations, and then just some other surprises that $30, can't beat it. If only all Christmas decorations, if only all vintage holiday decorations came at that price. Man, if that would have been Halloween, Anyway, it was a great day at the swap meet. I'm looking forward to the summer edition of the swap meet. It just goes to show you that there are plenty more things besides tools and hit and miss engines and tractors, which I know nothing about. But I do know about the vintage holiday decor and I was so glad that I purchased this. So thank you for joining me. Put a comment below for your favorite item that I bought. Perhaps there's something that you had as a child, your grandparents had, and it has struck a pleasant memory in you. So let me know below. There's some great, great finds. Thanks again for watching. Hope you have a great day. Happy holidays. Hey, it's never, never too early <laughs> to celebrate a festive season. I will see you all in the next episode. Be well, and if you are out looking for your treasure, I hope that you find it.